I like to joke that I actually start my day by answering emails and colleagues' questions about, you know, the great things about AI, the hopeful things, but I end my day with those same questions where people are saying, isn't this a doomsday prophecy? Um, and the truth is, you know, it's really somewhere in between all of that. So let's start with the good. This has brought about phenomenal conversations between businesses, between governments, between different stakeholders, and certainly, you know, the research community. But I think what, you know, conversely is not so good is that we're seeing a lot of fear and rhetoric around the language of AI. There's also, you know, hints that uh, companies will be looking at the role of artificial intelligence to replace current human jobs. And I think the way that this is being expressed in the media is causing a lot of fear and anxiety. Agriculture was one of the first sectors to adopt AI technology. So, you know, AI in terms of global food systems, we've been heading there for, for quite some time. I think some of the challenges when it comes to working across global, country, and regional levels are a few things. One is the availability of data it tends to be much higher in Europe and North America than in other countries. A lot of the data that's online tends to be English language data. We don't have as much opportunities to train models on Spanish language data, French language data, more regional languages, um, local languages. So this inherently again biases what you can do with data models. The other thing is with the introduction of any new technology, what's going to happen on um, the back end in terms of corporate ownership? Who's actually going to own different parts of this technology and who's going to own different parts of the data? International agencies and donors can play a leading role in helping to guide some of this regulation um, in ways that are really equitable and think about the participatory process. What gives me hope in 2023 and beyond is the fact that communities are coming together and they're coming together in ways that help us learn from one another.